I'm in Montreal. There's something about just going back to a place that resurfaces the feels. So I'm a little bit tired and a little bit hungry and I need a coffee. quickly get myself together i don't really know what the plan is for this afternoon but hi i'm in montreal and i'm excited to take you guys along so i'm actually in montreal for work and i just got in as you guys saw so i'm getting myself kind of settled and everything but today is currently monday and i'm gonna be here until thursday morning is when i leave i'm currently in sweats which let me just talk about this for a second every time that i'm on a plane i swear that 90 percent of people assume that i'm a student and i've been asked by people that try to make conversation with me if i'm going to school like what school i go to what i'm studying and i mean i take it as a compliment because there's definitely going to be a point in time when i don't look like I'm the age of a student, but I definitely still kind of give that vibe, especially when I'm in sweats. We have a dinner with everyone tonight, and obviously I'm not going to be wearing this. I think I'll probably just get changed so that I'm ready, and then whenever I head out, I'll be ready to go. I feel like my face is so gross from being on the plane. I don't think I'll be coming back here before dinner time, so I'm just going to do my proper makeup. God forbid anybody comes into this room because it looks like a tornado hit it. I guess I'm just excited. I haven't met my co-workers in person before so this is gonna be the first time that I'm meeting everyone basically and I do have a little bit of the social anxiety sometimes. In this case there's also a lot of other people that are kind of meeting people for the first time as well. Not everyone obviously but like i know that when i started there were a group of others that were new so that kind of brings me comfort to know that i'm not like the only brand new person i'm actually not that sure about my shirt choice but we're gonna go with it so the last time i was in montreal was actually with my boyfriend and we came here uh i think three summers ago it was still when there was lockdown intermittently so we came when there was some restriction lifts because i remember we were on the patio but that was already a few years ago and then before that the very first time that i've ever come to montreal i actually came by myself and i was thinking about this as i was on the way here because it's been a while since i came and then i remember the very first time that i arrived it was in 2019 i had just moved to toronto for a few months and i'd never been here obviously so i was like i'd love to just try to explore new places and it's not too far away like it's a bit of a drive or a bit of a train ride it's like six hours i think for the train but it's only an hour flight which is what i took today but i just remember taking the train by myself and i remember getting here at that point i think the only place that i could find to stay in was like renting this room in like a house that was a shared space so that was a whole adventure it wasn't bad but it's just pretty crazy to see like how different the circumstances are feeling very very grateful and appreciative of the fact that i'm here wow i look so different with a little bit of makeup on i feel like i should probably just not wear this shirt but i don't know what else to wear you know what i'm gonna commit to this because i packed it and i said that i was gonna wear it so we're gonna wear it not me not blending my bronzer ever okay currently 8 a.m so i'm just finishing getting myself ready and we're gonna have a full day ahead of what i think will be meetings and team activities i think but i do know that we're starting with breakfast which is of course very important so i said it starts at 8 until 8 30 and it's a buffet so i'm guessing as long as i show up like 
in the next five minutes, I'm good. I had the best sleep. There's nothing like being in a hotel and having a full bed to yourself. Last night, before I headed to dinner, I actually did come back. I don't know if I said I was going to, but I came back and I was trying to just do a quick little touch up on my face. I got foundation all over the ground Bruh. and the ground is black, right? It's like black tiles. So it looked like a crime scene and I was trying to clean it. Then I realized I didn't even bring makeup remover. So there was like smears of foundation all over the ground. It's kind of clean now because then I ended up getting some remover from one of my coworkers. But as a result of that, everything was like all over the room. It still is. So I don't think I'm going to get anyone in here to clean it because I just am too embarrassed. Does anyone else feel that way? When I'm at a hotel, I know the whole point is that they'll come and clean for you. But if I haven't left it in a decent state i just don't feel comfortable having anyone else in here so yeah i need to get makeup remover i'll probably go to the store at some point today also i feel like my entire face and skin are so dry i'd say the climate is pretty similar to toronto but maybe just because i've been dehydrated i've been really feeling it so good if i'm being honest i'm a little tired it's been a pretty non-stop day as a matter of fact like i was explaining this morning um what, was, what am i trying to say we had a team activity ended up at a very retro bowling alley to say the least like i don't really know how else to explain it it was like being in a time machine i feel like that was probably the highlight of my day because of how surprised we were at the state of that bowling alley but it was the sweetest old man that was working there as well so it was very endearing but yeah overall i had a really good day it is about eight 45, which is actually an early night. A couple of my coworkers and I got some dinner and bubble tea. My hair is looking a little bit rough to be honest, but I'm gonna make good use out of that waterfall shower. And I think I might treat myself to some reading in bed before I sleep. All right, time for a shower. <laughs> Good morning. It is bright and early, 8 a.m. I just finished getting myself ready. It is day two. I need to put my earrings on, but I'm gonna meet up with my coworkers for some breakfast. And they do have breakfast downstairs, but the selection wasn't that great yesterday. Like, obviously, no complaints. It's free food, but we're gonna find something else. So I don't know what we're gonna do yet. I also kept waking up last night. I think I probably ate too much. <laughs> And also it was freezing cold, so I'm a little bit tired and a little bit hungry and I need a coffee, so. Like I predicted, it was quite the day indeed. I'm also trying to talk as normally as I can with my retainer in because 
The last time I vlogged and I had my retainer in, I just could not get over the pronunciation. So I'm trying my best, but it is pretty late. It's actually way past my bedtime, 11.30, oh my God. My flight back to Toronto is leaving the airport at 10.40. It's a domestic flight as well, so that's probably not gonna be too bad. I am, in fact, in case you're wondering, wearing a Toronto Leafs shirt. I don't know why, but I only really wear Toronto stuff when I'm not in Toronto. I won't be wearing this on the street, you know what I mean? But it just makes me feel like home. But I'm so, so full from Hot Pot. That was such a sweet time with some of my coworkers. It just kind of reminded me that I haven't been around like a team environment in a hot minute, but I am very, very full. We ordered way too much food. Now I'm gonna try to go to sleep even though I wish I could like go for a walk or something to keep burning off the food. We got back a while ago. I was just cleaning and packing because I don't want to be in a rush tomorrow because I actually want to go for a little walk to basically go to the port of Montreal in the morning. That is like the old Montreal area and you'll see it when we go because we are gonna go. I really wanted to stop by. It's definitely more touristy and I've been there before, but I just think it'll be nice to get a little walk in before I get onto the plane. But with that said, I'm not even gonna read tonight because that is how tired I am. So I'll see you guys in the morning. We've made it to basically the old port of Montreal. So in this area, all the buildings are pretty historical. They have like this really European style to them, which looks different from most places that you would see in Canada. And I don't really have anything to do here because everything is closed. I don't think I mentioned, but it's 7 a.m. right now. So I decided to wake up and walk here because I really wanted to stop by and there was no other time during this whole trip, obviously. My flight leaves at 10.45 or something like that. You'd think that since I got this microphone, I'd actually properly use it for, you know, being further away. This is not a travel guide, but in the times that I've been here, it's pretty walkable for the most part if you are downtown. There's like the actual port by the water that I wanna go down to, but I don't really know if I have that much time because it took me longer than I thought it would to walk down here. But what I was trying to say was, I kind of feel like a bit of nostalgia overall because when I first moved to Toronto by myself, I didn't have people to like go and do stuff with. So I really wanted to travel and this was the first place that I went by myself since I moved here. And I just can't believe how much things have changed. Oh my God, ew, why am I getting emotional? And to think that like I'm here now after so much stuff has happened. Ew, 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 ew. I don't even know what type of tears these are because this has never happened in a video for me, but just, how much things have changed overall. And you might be like, well, does Celine, like life happens. You're kind of speaking the obvious. And that's true, you know, obviously life does happen, but there's something about just going back to a place that resurfaces the feels and makes you think of like how far things have come. And I definitely acknowledge there's a lot of things that I've been able to do because of the support from other people and the privileges that I have but at the same time I do feel like I've worked hard for the life that I've created for myself and thinking about my first trip visiting here is just a reminder of how, how far things have come so yeah I don't know that was weirdly emo of me but hey anyways I'm so glad I got to take you guys along for this I'm gonna have to head back in like a few minutes after. I don't think we're gonna get down to the water, but that's okay. Or maybe we will, I don't know. Stay tuned and find out.